all right welcome betters so i am going to be adding the coaches names to the model um, and so i'm gonna actually be scraping from the uh, pro football reference website so just kind of wanted to document this and show exactly how i go about scraping um, so i loaded in all these libraries you can look at those and basically this code i might make available uh, just for simplicity, but basically all it does is it gets all the team abbreviations and then gets me all the links that I'll need to use. Um, so I won't go into this too much if I run this. See, it just prints out the links of all the sites that it's going to go to. So if I click any one of these at random, um, like Falcons, for example, um, you can clearly see... Uh, the coach's name is right there and so that's going to be easy for us to scrape um, or it should be let's see it could be really tough and and all of these right the way you got to think about scraping is you have to find the same thing across all these right so if i look at falcons it clearly says coach and then it has two names and obviously the falcons fired someone but if i go to for example so you go to the niners you see it says coach and then just kyle shanahan right um, and it's always in this format, right? There's a coach's name kind of at the top of the page, coach's name kind of at the top of the page. And if I click another one randomly, chargers, right? Coach's name at the top of the page. So since I have all these links already made, all I need to do is find out exactly where and how the coach's names are being tagged, right? So if I look here, clearly says Anthony Lynn and it's under this paragraph kind of thing. Um, and then there's this, uh, it says coach, right? And then Anthony Lynn. Um, and then it has a link that if you click that, it's gonna go kind of documentation about him. Um, and then it has the record. So what we're gonna wanna do is, we wanna account for this. And the other thing we wanna do is we wanna account for the case where there's multiple. So if I go back to this Falcons one, for example, inspect the element. And yeah, so it looks like it has both of these as references. So let's look at paragraph. I wonder if we can find a P. Um, so I wonder, let's just Google a uh, beautiful keep finding P tag. Literally, I'm telling you, if you just Google things, you'll find this. Um, so Valentine's Day. So just find all P. So let's see what happens if I do that. So let's just pick one of these guys. So we can just pick the Falcons one so that it's robust. And we're gonna make that the URL. And we're gonna use this. So we got the So you can see it literally just lists out the entire HTML that's like exactly the same as this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find a way to grab this coach thing. So what we're going to do is exactly what it says here, what we found, find all P. Um, so we can say all P equals soup dot find all P. And let's see if that works. It might not. Untitled no call. Let me see if I can make this. Okay, so that seemed to work. Let me see what the length of this is. Because when you do find all, it makes it into a list. Um, so if I iterate through this and I say for p and all p, print p. Okay. So let's also do this thing so we can see exactly where these things are getting broken up. Let's say x equals 1. And we're also going to print x. And then we're going to iterate so we can see exactly where these things are getting broken up. Perfect. So it appears as though the fourth thing is the coach. Right. So if I look at, um, if I do something like, instead of now 
printing x. I know that x equals 4 when it's the code. So if I say if x equals 4, print d. Of course it is. And there it is. So with x equals 4, print p. And now we see the coach exactly like uh, we saw on this, right? Coach strong, href, blah, blah, blah. And we look at our notebook how it says coach strong, href, blah, blah, blah. All right, exactly the same. Um, let me see. There's a command you can use where you type dot text. That sometimes works. Let me see if that works. Boom, there it is. So it says coach, Dan Quinn, and Raheem Morris. Exactly what we see in right here. Dan Quinn and Raheem Morris, right? And so now we have this. And what we can do is we can also say print that and replace the word coach and this with nothing and now if we run that it should have nothing and we can just do these guys l strip and r strip and it gets rid of the blanks on either side um, so now we have this and so we know that there's multiple coaches and then the cool thing is right watch if i take this and instead of using that atlanta falcons one let's just use a random one and see if this works Say so I use the Jacksonville one. When I put that link in there, I should get the exact same result. And if I don't, we'll have to figure it out. But let's see. Command Enter. There it is. The coach, Doug Marone. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, since I have all this listed already, I'll still print the link. Dang. So we want the whole thing. Not a problem. We are going to go this and this is going to mess up and instead of the url being that we are just going to say uh get the link right and so now when it, this runs it should work there it is and so now it's going through each of these guys and grabbing the coach right and printing it out um so for 2020 we now have every single coach for the teams even where multiple coaches were Okay, and then typically what you're going to want to do is you're going to, like, this is pretty traditional. Um, you, so you call it a list of dictionaries. Um, you can just call it list of dictionaries, fine. And then you make an empty list. You want to take this whole thing and copy it. And what you're going to do is you're going to append to this list of dictionaries. you are going to append to the list and you're actually going to append a dictionary so you're going to call this coach and the value is going to be this thing All right and so now if i hit run it's going to go bop, 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 bop. and then if i type list of and if you hit tab it'll auto fulfill for you it should um, if i hit list of dictionaries now it looks like this and what i can do is with pandas, I go pd dot data frame that list of dictionaries, and then it'll become like a nice little uh, column. Um, if I wanted to, also when I'm up here, like let's just actually do that. What we could do is say, all right, since we know the team abbreviation here, right, we can also include the um, team. Right, and so we do a team, and we already have it linked as team and team abbreviation. So now if I run that, oh, I did that outside the, yeah, the dictionary, run it. And now what I'll show you guys is we added the team name as well. So now it's going to say the coach and the team name when I run this command. Okay, So Cardinals Atlanta. Uh, another thing we could do if we wanted to. Right, is add the year. So let's go ahead and do that. Year, and we're going to call it year because we have it. Right. Run it again, and it's all been run. So now when I run this, it's going to have the year as well. 
All right, I hope that was helpful in some way. Uh, I know I went a little fast, and all these things are already made for us, but best of luck with all your bets, guys, and uh, any web scraping. If you want a more in-depth lesson, let me know, and I can make it a little more, um, a little easier, I guess, uh, step by step. But just wanted to show you guys how I do it.